Okay, so suppose you are given three matrices, the matrix A, matrix L, and matrix D. So A is a full matrix, L is a lower triangular, and D is a diagonal matrix. So every off diagonal entries are zero. So show that A is a symmetric matrix. And after that, show that A can be written as the product of L, D, then L transpose. So we do it step by step. So a matrix A is symmetric when you have A equal A transpose. Okay. So now you take A transpose, so A transpose is um, you just take the the row and you transform it in a column, so 2, minus 1, 2, then minus 1, 1, minus 1, then 2, minus 1, and 3. So you transpose all the rows into the columns. And now you check, so now it's the same at the matrix A. Okay, so the same at matrix A. So A is symmetric. Another way to see it is, you know, you just check the entries opposite the diagonal. So minus 1 here and the same minus 1 here. 2 and 2 here, minus 1, minus 1 here. So they're the same. So that's symmetric. Okay, so now suppose I want to show that A is a product of L, D, L transpose. So I just take L, D, L transpose to be, so 1 minus 1 half. 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. And I multiply with the matrix D, so 2, 1 half, 1, 0 here, 0 here, 0 here, 0, 0, 0. 0. And then L transpose, so L transpose, I take the row, become a column, so, so it will be, 1, 0, 0, then minus 1 half, 1, 0, then 1, 0, 1. Okay, and then we multiply maybe this two matrix first. Okay, and then after that we multiply by this one. So, so here, suppose I got uh, 2 times 1 here, and then 0, 0, so give me 2. And then 0 times 1, so 1 half times 0, so 0 times 0, so give me 0. The third one is 0 here, 0 here, 0 here, so I have 0 here. Okay, and then I do the second row, so 0 times 1 is 0, and then, sorry, I have to do the second column. So second column is 2 time minus one half is minus one, yeah? And then zero, zero, so minus one. And the second column, second row, second column, so zero here, then one half, then zero, so one half here. And the third row, so you got zero here, zero here, then zero here. And now for the last columns, so now 2, 0, 0, so we got 2. So 0, 0, 0. The last one, 0, 0, 1. So I multiply the last two matrices, and now I multiply with the first matrix. So 1, 0, 0, minus 1 half, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. And now I multiply the first column and first row. So 2, 0, 0. So give me 2 here. And then minus 1 half times 2 is minus 1 and 0, 0. And then 1 times 2, um, so 0. Uh, sorry, uh, 2 and then 0, then 0, so 2 here. Yeah. 
and then I do the second column. So minus one and zero, zero, so minus one here. And the second uh, row, second column, so minus one half times minus one is plus one. So plus, sorry, plus one half, and this one plus one half, so give me one. And the third row, second column, so minus one, zero, zero, so minus one here. And then the last one, so two, zero, zero, so two here. And the second row, so minus one half times two is minus one, and zero, zero, so minus one. And then the last one, one times two is two, zero, then one, so three. So is it the same as original matrix? So two minus one, two minus one, one minus one, two minus one, three. So it's the same as the matrix A. So we verify it by direct calculation. Okay, so now we are going to find the Cholesky factorization of the matrix A given this identity. So remember the Cholesky factorization is when you can write a matrix, it's a product of a matrix R transpose R when R is an upper triangular matrix. And now we make use of the previous uh, equations. I mean A equal L D L transpose in order to find out the Cholesky factorization. So now suppose I write A equal L D L transpose. But now I want to split the matrix D into square root of D times square root of D times L transpose. Okay? And remember the matrix D is diagonal. So the square root of D is just a square root of all the entries. Okay? And then now I combine this uh, two product, you know. So then I can write this one is the uh, L trans I mean L uh, square root D time. So remember the matrix uh, square root D L transpose. It could be written as L and square root D everything transpose. Because when you transpose, then you got lies square root D transpose, which is the same as square root D and L transpose. And now I will label this matrix to be R transpose. Okay, I label this. And this matrix will be the matrix R. Okay. And so you can see that if I re if I if I set R equal L square root D transpose, then R transpose is just equal L square root D transpose transpose. Yeah, and what is just the same as L square root D? What is here, L square root D? So now I have R equal L square root D. So now I just compute the product L times square root D. So L square root D will equal, so now this one is the matrix L here. So one, zero, zero, then minus one half, one zero, one zero, one. And the matrix D square root D will be square root two, zero, zero, and then zero, one over square root two, zero, 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 one. And now I just multiply it out, then I have, so one times square root two is square root two and zero zero so then <coughs> minus one half times square root two is minus one over root two okay and zero zero so minus one over root two and then the last row is one times root two and zero zero so you have root two here and then after that, I have the second column is, I just take the first row, multiply second column. So zero here, zero here, then zero here. And now second 
row second column so zero here then one over root two and zero so one over root two and now the last one will be zero here zero here then zero here so zero here and for the last column i just take the first row and then last column here so zero here zero here zero here and now the second column so zero here zero here then zero here and now the last column uh, last row so one times zero zero and then one so you can see that this is a matrix r transpose yeah because r transpose is l square root d and from here then you can get out the matrix r so the matrix R will be, you just take this one, you transpose it, so you got square root 2, 0, 0, and minus 1 over root 2, 1 over root 2, 0, and then the last one will be root 2, 0, 1. So you can see that the matrix R is upper triangular matrix, and you can verify that if you take R transpose multiplied by R, then you recover the matrix A again. And this is called the Cholesky factorization. Okay, so now we will show that if you have a Cholesky factorization, it means that when you can write A as a product of R transpose R, R is upper triangular matrix, and R is non-singular. Show that A is positive definite. So, so R is non-singular. Okay, so now in order to show that A is positive definite, so now a matrix A is positive definite. By definition is when you take X transpose AX, then this one is positive for all vector X in Rn and the vector is non-zero, okay? So we have to show that, satisfy this property. So now suppose I take x transpose Ax, then instead of writing x transpose Ax, I replace A by R transpose R. Then I have x transpose R transpose, then R and x, okay? And so the first two terms I can rewrite as Rx transpose time Rx. Yeah. And now this one is nothing but the two norm of the vector Rx square. Okay. So remember if you have y transpose y, then this one is just y1 up to yn and then multiply by the column vectors y1 up to yn and this one gives you y1 square y2 square up to yn square and this one is just the two norm square of the vector y so we use it right here so the vector y just rx okay and you see because this one is square of some quantity so it's greater or equal zero for all vector x in rn Okay, so now what happens if Rx equals zero? So if Rx equals zero, because R is a non-singular matrix, so X has to be equal zero. So because R is non-singular. So therefore, you know, you have shown that X transpose Ax is always greater or equal to zero for all vector x non-zero. And therefore the matrix A is positive definite. So this property is true whenever you have a Cholesky factorization. So it doesn't restrict to the three by three matrix. Could be true for any n, n by n matrix.